Hi everyone, John Copingan from CRT. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna take the RV and go get some fuel. Sorry, I haven't posted in a while. Um, shop is so busy, and uh, I just haven't had time. But then when I decided to find some time. I go grab my laptop and it doesn't work. So I take it in to get fixed. And they're telling me the motherboard shot. So we had to get a I got, I got a new laptop. And then all my hard all my uh, software for editing videos is on the crash laptop mess so and that's the way everything's been going for me for the last couple of weeks so I'm going to multitask we're going to uh, we're going to Mo party make sure there's no kids back there run over today's Sunday and Mo party Make sure I shut off the brakes. Yeah. Mo party is uh, next weekend, so I've been busting my ass trying to get everybody's orders out, the transmissions out, and all this other stuff. Much less try to get my truck ready to go racing. And uh, that hasn't been going on very good. As you guys know, I race. Mr. Haney is the nickname we gave that truck. It's a 66 Ford with a Gen 3 Hemi in it. And I put in a, took the motor out in February, set the truck off to get the chassis work done. It was stuck in chassis, uh, chassis shop jail for six months. It just, it was one bad thing after another. All I wanted to do was change the intake manifold to that Holly Ram that they, they got out and then put a cam in it. Uh, took the exhaust manifolds off, put some long tube headers on, and then changed the uh, suspension in the rear to ladder bars and coilovers. So it'll go good with the trans brake. And I found a tuner, got everything together, and it just, it, it was kind of a nightmare. I found out through a, through a gentleman who saw me struggling online. He says, hey, how big of a cam you got in that thing? So I sent him my cam card. He goes, that cam's way too big. He goes, I don't even know how that thing could be in there and not be tagging the valves. So, at his advice, and I drove the truck, and it was dog-eared and shit. It, it felt terrible, and it had some lean issues, too. Long story short, I pulled the motor back out to change the cam, because doing a timing chain on a 6.4 Hemi is really not the easiest thing to do, much less try to do it in a... Uh, Do it while it's in the truck. So I just I just pull the motor trans out. Pull the motor trans out. And the cam, the, the gentleman, Jason from uh, Dr. Differential, which is not to be confused with Dr. Diff. They're two different, they're two different companies. And this guy's really been stepping up the plate and helping me out, isn't he? He, he, this guy gave me the cam. He goes, here, you need a cam? I got one. He goes, it's a used cam, but it's been proven stage one. I don't know what the specs are. They're at the shop. This guy gives me a cam. So I took the cam, and he's doing the tune right now as we speak. Today is Sunday. So I'm hoping tomorrow and Monday when I go in the shop, all I have to do is tune Mr. Haney, put the hood on, wash it, put it on the trailer, and head out to Mo Party. So... That's where we're at on Mr. Haney. Um, 
the, the cool the, the cool thing is now that I put the factory intake back on it, the throttle response is back. It's it's real zippy again. So I, I'm glad about that. And uh, I still have a problem with it breaking up at 4,000 RPMs. I, it must be going lean. This camera looks like it's retarded. But uh, I'm hoping that tune's going to take care of it. And then we, we get headed out to head out to Mo Party on Thursday. The race is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm kind of excited. It's September, the, the end of the season. And I spent all summer fucking around to get this race car going, this race truck going, even though it's a street vehicle. And it's just been one battle after another, and I've been trying to keep my head up, and, you know, but I'm getting it. You know, we're, we're, we're this close to having it done. Um, as you know from one of my pre previous videos, Man, that thing just keeps on getting darker and darker. There it goes. Um, we stopped doing transmission sales over the internet, and just strict. It's just strictly just doing the parts right now. And uh, this will be my seventh or eighth weekend now where I didn't work at the shop. So I'm. I got a little bit of my sanity back, so I'm, I'm kind of happy that I'm not so stressed out. And, and so that's a great note. And again, a lot of you guys have sent me uh, messages and emails and whatnot wishing me well. Guys, a guy in Canada who never even bought a thing for me was wishing me well. So you know who you are. Thank you. Which is a very nice outpouring. So anyways. Um... The reason why I'm getting gas in our diesel fuel in the, in the, in the coach right now, um, two reasons. One, I'm test driving it. I just installed a shift kit in the transmission. And I want to see if you guys think you can hear it scratching their gear. Ready? Put a shift kit in it, and now it's uh, it's parking gears. A diesel pusher, twenty thousand pound truck, parking second gear. Don't you know a joke when you hear one? <laughs> no, I'm taking the the RV to fill it up with diesel fuel, and uh, it's just one less thing I have to do to hook up the trailer, load up the golf cart or the quad, whatever I decide to take, and head out to Mo Party, um, which is in Bowling Green, Kentucky, Beach Bend Dragway. I've been there many a times. I love the facility. I used to go down there when uh, they used to have the Chrysler Classics. Um, the people that own it are great. So, um, and this is my first outing all summer. It's the end of the summer. It's the first time I'm going out. So I'm pretty pumped. I'm pretty excited. Um, got a lot of friends, a lot of customers. that are going to meet up down there and hopefully just race and uh, hang out with good people and cook and uh, hang out by the fire at the end of the day. We're spending the night there. Um, we're going to just stay on the ground. So, if uh, you guys are going out there and you see Mr. Haney or me, or if you see me going down the track, take some video and then uh, and then hit me up and then send me some videos of the truck because I won't be able to video anything since I'll be driving. Hopefully, I remember how to drive. I haven't. Uh, I took the truck out twice this year just for test drives. So. What am I expecting out of the truck? Well, I went from having a tunnel ram, that Holly ram, to the stock intake, which I hear the stock intake is better. Too big of a cam to kind of a smaller cam. Long tube headers and ladder bars. Last year, on stock leaf springs, stock exhaust manifold, 
and an absolutely bone stock 6.4 Hemi. It ran 1260s. And um, I only trans braked it once because it kept on winding up the springs up into the, uh, around the shackle. And I knew then I had to get ladder bars if I was going to use a trans brake. So I'm, I'm hoping maybe, I don't know, two tenths, maybe three tenths if I'm lucky. It, it, I'm not expecting it to go fast. I was shooting for mid 11s. Um, but I, I think that's going to be too much. So I'm going to say three tenths. So 1260s. That's that's my guess. Anything above and beyond 1260s, I'll take it as a freebie. So, all right, I'm going to stop and fuel this dig up. And uh, be right back. All right, I'm back. She's all filled up. How much did it cost to fill it up, John? <clears throat> it was, it took 69.8, so 70 gallons, at 335 a gallon. That comes out to 234 bucks. And that's probably about 60 or 70 bucks more than last year. At this very same time. Gee, who was president then? And who is now? Hmm? Anybody know? Anyone? Anyone? On that asshole's first day, he shuts down the XL pipeline. Yeah, that was real smart. All right. In gear. Back to the house. I wanted to talk to you guys about, as soon as I go over these bumps, have any of you guys seen uh, my video on the Tesla valve? Let me get through here real quick. Oh no, oh no, I almost lost the camera. Hang on guys, I'll probably edit this out anyways. And this too. Uh. Hello. Have any of you guys seen my video on the Tesla valve? Uh, if you haven't, I'll put in a link in the description below in this video so you guys can check it out. So anyways, I made one prototype. Uh, trans brake, valve body prototype with the Tesla valve in it, the low band applied Tesla valve, and I made it for a 46R E or H, and then I stuck it in Mr. Haney, and boy does that thing work nice. Uh, it really, it really works good. So I'm going to race it this weekend, and if I don't for foresee, or if I don't have any problems, which I don't foresee having any problems, and everything works the way I expect it to work at the racetrack, the next batch of trans brakes um, for the 727, the 904, 46, 7, 8, RE, RH, are all going to have the Tesla valve in it. And, uh, turn on some air because I'm kind of hot and uh, it won't be no increase on that as far as price is concerned and just changing around a couple of the, of the, pro the programs for the CNC 
and um, but I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and incorporate the Tesla valve in the next batch and that should be coming out in a, in a couple of, this rug's always on my brake pedal here. That should be in about, about two or three weeks from today. Um, and the, the valve bodies that, that identify, that have the test valve, will have a marking, it'll, it'll say it, I'm gonna engrave the word Tesla valve on every single one. So if, if people are like, well, this mine does or don't have that Tesla valve, it'll, it'll be any valve body that's most likely gonna be made in end of October 2021 and on will have the Tesla valve in it in all our trans brakes, which is gonna be standard. So um, pretty excited about that. I'm, it, it, it really worked out great, and, uh... Ah, uh, shit, here comes a red light. Hang on, guys. We're going through it. Hey, did you hear it chirp? So, the, it, the, the Tesla valve is going to be a standard in all my trans brakes. Um, I can't do it in reverse manual it, it, unless you get it billet. So this is all, the Tesla valve is only going to be available um, with the billet valve bodies, and that's it. Also, our billet planetaries are coming along real good. I have uh, the brooches for making the splines, the internal splines, to go on a planetary. Um, they should have been done by now. I, I'm, they're like everything else. Today's world is taking longer than normal. So as soon as the brooch is kicked on, um, I'm hoping by the first of the year, the uh, our billet planetaries will be ready. All, all the billet planetaries will all be roller bearing. You can get it individually, you know, just a front planetary, or you can get it as a kit, which will be the front planetary. The rear planetary, which will be cast aluminum, machine for bearings, a rear roller support, and a light and sun shell. So, um, which is another thing we're coming out with, our, our own light and sun shells, will also be out by Christmas time. Um, we're working on our second batch of drag sprags right now. So, those will be back in stock, and I'm ordering the outer cams in larger quantities of numbers so I don't go without again. And, and it takes a little bit of a groove between me and the guys at the machine shop to be in sync with each other. But you know, I can go back there and count like, oh, well, we got, you know, we got 25 drag sprags on the shelf. Let's, let's order some more. And I can come in and I can do that on Monday. And then by Friday, we could sell 15 of them. So I'm just gonna, keep on up in the inventory all the time um, I know I promised you guys technical videos I, I know I promised you guys that but with uh, with the, my laptop taking a shit and me being so busy at the shop I, I just didn't have time but I already got them lined out on paper of what I want to do and what I want to show you guys so just hang tight with me I, I'm gonna have some great um, technical videos and a lot of it is, is going to be how to decipher the different gears of parts just by looking at them. You can use it as a reference. So, and a lot of times the biggest thing I got, the guys are taking apart a transmission when they're ordering parts are like, well I don't know what year pump it is or I don't know year what this is. So I'm going to show you guys how to identify a lot of that stuff and, and that will be coming up. Um, after Mo Party, so um, I'm really excited about going to Mo Party. I'm, I am gonna, I'm gonna race my ass off if I can. I, I hope that truck does some wheelies. Uh, being only a 12 second truck, you know, it's only gonna be a little bit, but I, I, I'll take anything I can get, you know. I wanted to get some action shots. I really want a two footer. Uh, Mr. Haney doing a two-foot wheelie so I can put it on next year's catalog. I don't know. We'll 
we'll see. So, I'm almost home, driving by all the cornfields. We live in Northwest Indiana, and it's, uh, it's cornfield heaven. So, um, you guys going to Mo Party, stop by the, my, my booth, or not my booth spot, I'm not setting up a booth. Stop by my pits, see me in the staging lanes, come over, check out Mr. Heaney. Don't laugh because it's it's a little bit of a clunker. Kiddo, you sold him that piece of shit. You ought to be fucking ashamed of yourself. This lady pulled all the way out. I got it. Hang on, it's gonna bark again. Did you hear it? So I'm hoping to see you guys run into all my friends, all my customers. Um Dylan with the frostbite truck, hopefully he's gonna park park right next to me. Um I I was gonna match race the guy, but you know him having a blower, a blower on, on his truck, and now he's got one of those Holly tunnel rams. I I might not be able to beat him. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've come close. I know I can not drive him though. But I don't I don't know if I'm gonna beat him. But we're still gonna race anyways. Hey, oh, oh those bust the camera again. Alright, let me park this stupid thing. So whew. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being patient and me not getting on those videos. Thank you for buying stuff from our from uh, for me at CRT, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys at Mopar party. Mopar to you, you good looking some bitches.